Hello, uh, my name is Aziz and I'm a molecular biologist here at the University of Nottingham. Okay, so I wake up in the morning, um, have a shower, grab some coffee, um, and then I leave the house. Um, I stick my iPod on, I walk down the hill to the Victoria Centre in the city, uh, the shopping centre, and I get the bus to the hospital. And that whole process takes about half an hour. Um, and I'm often just thinking about what I'm going to do that day, listening to music, um, watching the world go by. It's actually a good time to sort of get myself ready for what I'm going to do at work during the day. Um, I work in the Institute of Genetics, which is embedded within the QMC, the big hospital here um, on the outskirts of the city. Um, I run a research lab, um, a team of about 12 people, and we study stem cells. So stem cells are cells that can become any other type of cell in the body. So if you imagine um, in your body you have cells that are always turning over your skin, your gut, your blood cells are constantly being replaced. And the cells that allow those cells to replace the stem cells, these cells divide and eventually become all the other cells in your body. So on Wednesday morning, uh, we have a meeting starting at 9, which is, I think, it's the only time we're all in at 9 o'clock. Um, everyone tends to come in uh, on, on auto hours, depending on how their experiments are going. We discuss any specific problems that anyone's been happening, which might be technical. So, for example, if someone's doing an experiment in a lab and it's not working, we discuss how to help them fix it. So today, um, one of the things I have to do is, for example, is to give uh, a viva to a first-year student. So today I'm meeting a student called Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed has been working on um, a bunch of genes involved in cancer, essentially. So just talking through his project and um, the experiments he's done. So after this meeting I'm having with this first year student, um, I quickly have to see the head technician in the department um, because we need to hire my laboratory needs to hire a new technician. And I had no idea there'd be so much, uh, if you like, admin and management involved once I got to this stage in my career. Um, but I'm getting used to it and I can see how important it is. So every, every day I try and get a couple of hours, an hour to two hours, even if I'm really busy and I can't have time to do my own lab work, I'll go and talk to people and uh, chat to them about what they're doing, maybe just pick up something that they're doing and do it for them, uh, just so I'm close to the lab and involved in what's going on, so they feel, everyone in the lab feels they have access to me, either in my office or up in the lab. And that's a very important part of my day, um, make sure I don't forget what being a scientist is in the lab is day to day. Um, I think the coolest thing is that we can take a worm in the lab, chop its head off, and within seven days the worm has regrown a whole new brain. They're really cute. Um, one day when I first started working with them, or when I thought about working with them, a colleague of mine from Barcelona, a good friend of mine, came to work with me when I was in Edinburgh. Um, and I said, will you draw me a picture of these worms? I've never seen them. I don't, I don't even know what they are. And she drew me this kind of worm-shaped thing with these big cartoon eyes. I thought it was just like a schematic. But I can actually show you pictures. They actually do have these cartoon character eyes. I don't know if you've ever seen them. Um, and they're kind of cute and they're easy to look after. No trouble. Perfect pets. And they don't die. I think it's really important that some of the brightest and sort of most enthusiastic people in any country sort of go into science because if you look around you every day and you look at the things you use, you know, a telephone, a computer, a television, a camera, they're all things that came from scientific research. Um, and without them, science doesn't really progress. And if without bright people doing science, science and technology don't progress. I think anyone who's fascinated with how the world works, um, everything from looking around you and seeing how nature works, how trees grow, how animals grow and develop, um, what makes them tick, to looking at, you know, feats of engineering or electronics, how the things at home that you use every day, how they work. And we'll be suited to being a scientist, and the thing is, it's really exciting. So the main reason I'm a scientist isn't really, I'm honest, to contribute in any great way. It's because I find it really exciting, and it's a real buzz. So if you can imagine that moment when you discover something where no one else in the whole world knows it, that feeling I really can't describe, I can't compare it to anything else.